Okay, here we are again, back inside Matrix Gold. Uh, hope the videos are helping your designing process. If they are, please go ahead and smash that subscribe button, tap on that uh, notification bell, leave me a like, and absolutely leave me a comment. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee, uh, right down around in here, there's a super thanks button. Go ahead and tap on that and uh, give me some coffee. <laughs> We're going to be doing a lot of uh, Clay U here, and uh, you'll see that Clay U can uh, create some time issues. So, uh, it, you know, a cup of coffee is nice to have. <laughs> uh, Mastering Matrix Gold, a smooth transition from Matrix. Our third session, our third session already will be on March, Tuesday, March 12th at 11 a.m. Central USA time, so check your time zones. If you're our active member of the Academy, uh, you are more than welcome to attend the show. Uh, and uh, it'll be open to anybody that has an active membership. And we are going to dive into a lot of the commands as far as parametric commands, uh, what the differences are between the old M9 and the MG uh, commands, the parametric commands, and uh, uh, do some designing in there as well. So uh, hopefully going to throw in some golden nuggets. So please, uh, if you're available on uh, March 12th, Tuesday uh, at 11 a.m. Central USA time, go ahead and uh, I'll put a link below to, for the registration. So please uh, check that out. Let's go ahead and get started on today's project. Okay, let's get going on this. Uh, we had a uh, Facebook group post about making a hollow bead. So I'm going to show a couple different ways of doing this and uh, uh, explain why you may want to do it one way versus another. Uh, so the first one will be probably the easiest and simplest one. Let's just go ahead and grab a curve or a sphere and go ahead and uh, I'll do it from the this front view here uh, and then just make it our size that we want and go ahead and take that we'll give it some shading I'll change to creation layer go to curves right click on my curve go to from uh, f4 hold down shift drag it out we'll select all that and we will do a trim and there we'll take care of that top part oh no let's go back let's support that real quick well, wait a minute. Cancel. Let's go back to undo. Let's just get rid of this one and this one. We want to get rid of that top piece because it was in two separate pieces, right? And then hit enter. Uh, and then we can get rid of this curve here. And the reason why I did it from the front to the top and then got rid of the top is because now if I take this, I can't not explode it. It's a poly surface. So we can use a uh, uh, NURB surface. So we can use this to draw something on half of it, right? If you only want to draw half of it, this is probably the way to do uh, and then you can, you know, put a line through there or a rail or something and then just mirror it over to the other side. But there is one thing you'll have to do. If I take this surface right here and I go to transform and then go to auto base, I, I get this surface out here, which looks like it's uh, probably the right surface, but let's check it. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it in the center. Uh, Let's uh, board that real quick. Let's grab this and hit enter. Enter. Uh, and then I'll take this and just kind of drag it out of the way a little bit. And we'll switch it to our ground plane here. And uh, we'll go ahead and snap a curve, uh, a couple curves on this. Uh, let's change this to yellow. And we'll snap here and here and here. We'll take that yellow and we'll just real quickly do a pipe just so we can kind of show what's going on there. Uh, and then hit enter, right? Uh, and then if we take this, it looks like it might be bigger. Let's, so let's go ahead, uh, transform, auto base, this surface here, this surface here, uh, objects to flow, these, enter, uh, and it goes up too high, right? So that's not going to really uh, give us what we want, right? So what you have to do is you have to go to your surface, go all the way down to uh, edit tools, and then go to uh, shrink trim surface, select your surface, then hit enter, right? And then when you select on your surface and do your auto base, It'll give you, there you go, you can see it's already smaller, so that's the surface, uh, and now when you put the item out there, you know, whatever you're going to draw on that item, uh, let's go back to curves, okay, uh, whatever you're going to draw on that item, let's see, let's just do something real quick here, we'll uh, go to near, and we'll just kind of draw 
One, two, three out there, and then maybe one and two. And we'll select all yellow, go to our uh, solids pipe, uh, hit enter. And then when you go to transform and do the smart flow, select that surface, this surface, our objects, uh, all this green here, hit enter, uh, and it'll flow up and stick to our surface, right? And if I would have cut those ends off, it would have been fine. But then you can run a rail around, flip it over, and you're good to go, right? Uh, but that's that's one way of doing it, right? uh but let's i haven't made the hollow beach yet so i guess i should do that but that's kind of why i i i guess i'm trying to explain why i did it from the front view and got rid of the top surface because that would have gave me a nerve surface from the top okay so i have this out here so what we need to do is get a hole for that uh chain to go through or whatever we're going to put so we're going to go from center and I'm going to go uh, hold down, say we want a two millimeter chain to go through there. Uh, and then I'm going to select that uh, curve. And then I am going to just extrude it down and then go ahead and CAP and cap it so that it's solid. Right. Uh, and then I'm going to take this surface and go to surface uh, offset. Uh, offset this surface in whichever direction it doesn't matter it depends if you want to make it bigger or thinner do you want it to go the inside or the outside we'll take it to the inside and I have it set at one we'll go ahead and take that so now I have a closed poly surface on here so I can go to solids boolean difference here enter here enter and enter get rid of this and get rid of the one that's not uh, has my uh, hole for my chain in there get rid of that one and then I need to hold down shift and control and select these two surfaces and just delete them. And then I can take these, excuse me, oh, uh, take these two surfaces, go to mirror, mirror in our, turn off our Y, turn on our Z, and then hit enter, and then take all that and join it together. And we have a closed surface hollow bead out there right now there is probably one or two more things i should mention uh first uh we, you probably should go to solids and do a fillet on these uh, edges here so we'll take that blend and we'll go to uh, chain edges and we'll select that top one go ahead and hit enter i have it point three point three is what i want preview yes and then hit enter enter right click bring it back select uh, chain surf chain edges and grab that bottom one there hit enter enter and enter and then do the same thing down here to our bar right click chain edges uh, this one enter enter and enter and right click chain edges and this one enter enter and enter now the reason you probably want to make those a little rounded uh, is because when you go to cast it right you want all those air bubbles to be able to come out through one end so you definitely want to cast it so that it's coming through like this so those air bubbles are able to get out of there very easily one other thing i might, might recommend is after you get your wax before you put it in your investment is kind of swish it through some water and some dish soap uh, so that it really kind of slickens up that surface so any air bubbles that may be trapped on the inside will be able to get out very easily because it will have a slimy uh smooth surface to get out of right it won't stick to your wax uh but uh definitely you want to cast it so that the holes are going this direction right okay so anyway that's that well we can go to uh view and we can go to metal weights and it should be able to tell me right down here calculate Right there, it gives all my metal weights. Take this one up a little bit. And there you can see 3.17 grams or whatever. Uh, you can go to grams, you can go to penny weight. So uh, anyway, there's that. Uh, I don't need that on. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. And I'll show another way here real quick. And, and there's reasons why. You, let's go viewports back to reset viewports. 
there's another reason why you might want to do it this other way. Uh, say you don't want that line going through the center. You want to be able to design something over the entire ball, right? So you can go to a surface or curves rather. Go to your, uh, let's change it to yellow. Go to your F4 and you want to make the opening, right? Whatever size you want the opening be, to be. So we'll just say that there and we'll just drag that one down here. Uh, and we'll go ahead, transform, mirror in our turn off Y, turn on X so that we have both of them out there. Uh, and then go to our curves and grab a uh, arc direction, third one down. Uh, and we can snap to that quad, to this quad, and we can just hold down straight, right? Uh, so that it's got a roundness to it. Uh, and there's something really cool about doing it this way and our next way that uh, our, you know, you, you could really do a lot with. So then we could just go to our surface, go to our surface two, select our uh, profile there, profile here, this profile, hit enter, and then uh, enter, right? Now, doing it this way, uh, we have an entire uh, surface that is uh, unexplodable. It's, it's all inert. So if you want to design something from the bottom all the way to the top without having a line or something going to the center to connect the two sides, uh, you can do that uh, with this kind of surface here. Uh, and the thing is, is with this surface, kind of interesting. Uh, if we go to transform, we go to auto base, we select on our surface here. It gives us our auto base. And if we take that auto base and just kind of drag it out of the way there. Uh, if we go to our curve here and we turn on our points and uh, let's just say we select all these and then kind of watch the top there. If we drag it, let's say we want to make it smaller uh, in it will automatically update our auto base so you can go ahead and save it here and you can kind of create all kinds of different uh, beads uh, sizes and shapes uh, so if you wanted uh, something thin but you don't want it so uh, wide you could select your top ones there you could select your bottom ones here holding down shift and then you can just kind of drag it in like this and then everything updates accordingly right so uh, you can make uh, all kind of manipulations uh, and have that auto base surface update with your surface here so that you can go and real quickly draw things out there right uh, which is pretty cool i think uh, so you can select that go to the top there go to your uh hold down well you don't even have to just drag it up Kind of, and our auto base is updating all the time with with whatever surface we make. Awesome, huh? All right, so uh, that's that. Uh, now let's just go ahead and get rid of that. We'll get another viewport here, real quick. Refresh, and the last way to do it, uh, and it gives you kind of the same uh, options as the other ways, just a little bit different. Uh, so let's uh, let's go to our uh, polygon here and let's go and grab a star and I have it set at 20. Let's take it down to uh, let's take it down to 15 and hit enter. Uh, maybe I should let's take it to uh, 12 and hit enter. I'll go to my C here, hold down shift so it comes up and yeah okay and then we'll kind of go in like this a little bit and we'll click there and we'll go in here and we will do a little cleanup so it smooths off those edges right uh and i have it set at a point two and let's hit enter so now we got something like that and we'll just drag this one down here and we'll go to our transform uh go to parametric mirror and turn that to Y off at a Z on, so we have one at the top there, right? And then we'll just take this one and we will go ahead from our, we'll activate our top viewport and we will go ahead and snap it to our Z, uh, C plane. And no, we're, we don't want to delete that original one and we'll hit enter. So now we have one in the center. So that center one we can take, we're going to break history here, but it's no big deal. Hold down shift, make it a little bit bigger right so now we can go to our surface and we can do a loft from uh one two three and then hit enter and we have a bead like this but not only do we have something like this um 
is that if I let's put on shaded so we can kind of see what we've got going on out here. We got a nice little bead shape like this. So let's go ahead first take it uh, and then we'll go in and do some manipulation so we can make this uh, bigger and you can get all kinds of shapes in there. You can go to the top, go to the bottom here, uh, just kind of bring those in uh, and really come up with some pretty crazy shapes, right? So let's go back to, uh, let's go back to our loft. We'll go to edit. This time we'll change it from normal to loose. Okay, so it gives you a little bit different look, uh, and then we'll accept that. Go in here, hold down shift, and kind of bring this one out, so you can kind of get even uh, different shapes going on out here. Uh, and if you go back to your loft again, and you go to all the way down to the uniform, uh, you have more control over where those edges go, right? Uh, and you can select. We'll go ahead and accept that. We'll go select the top there. We'll select, hold down shift, select the bottom, kind of bring those in together, uh, something like that. We'll go to our outside curve here, maybe. Uh, we'll grab that curve. Oh, I had it. Grab that curve, hold down shift, bring this in. Uh, so you can make all kinds of different little uh, beads, right? But the thing here is you're going to have to be a little bit more cautious when you do your... Uh, curves right so uh when you do the offset because if i uh, grab this surface and try to do an offset here uh do an offset so we'll take it to the inside uh, and then hit enter uh it's kind of well i don't want to do that again let's back out of that uh, you can see the surface is kind of, we've got a lot of manifold edges and everything, right? So that's probably not real good for us, right? So what we'll need to do is let's go, I just want to go back so I can show you in a larger form. Okay, I'm going to grab this surface and go ahead and delete it. Now what we want to do is we want to take this top surface, we want to hold down Alt and click here, and I'm going to type in a negative one. So it's going to be one millimeter th uh, thick. Is so I drop that down one. Select this one. Right. Uh, select. Di uh, select this one. Go to hold down Alt. Click on my ball there. Put one, so it goes up one, and then take this one, and we'll just do uh, offset uh, here. Here, uh, and then we can control it in one right and then uh hit accept that right now when we do the loft we go to surface do the loft we can go one outside 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 inside 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 and hit enter and we have our item out there and we can go over here and hit closed and it'll close off that top right uh, if I turn it off, you can see where we have an opening. And then if I turn it on, we have a closed poly surface. So now we can go ahead and start doing more. And it will accept that. Uh, and let's say we don't want to make it that wide. Hold down shift and then bring that in. And that will that middle curve will follow with that curve so that it will all be set offset still at 1. See what I'm saying? Uh, and then if you wanted to uh, take those two at the top and take these two at the bottom and then kind of bring them in a little, uh, you can get all kinds of different shapes going on, which is pretty cool for different beads, right? Uh, but there you go. There's uh, several different ways and reasons to uh, do it different differently. Uh, but, you know, uh, they you can really make some cool, cool necklaces, cool bracelets, maybe some dangle earrings with these kind of beads, uh, lighter weight, right? Uh, so there's a lot of options available for something like this. So hopefully this will help you. And if it does, please go ahead, like, subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, you can always buy me coffee. <laughs> uh, but uh, thanks for watching and good designing.